So glad to have the support of all of you. I came up from Atlanta um, myself and two of my closest friends, Shirley and Joyce. I think she went to the restroom. She's not here right now. But I'm a retired Atlanta police officer of 20 years, a detective with City of Atlanta Police Department. I retired on a disability where I was injured on the job. And then in 09, I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, um, where I almost died in that incident. So I fought the cancer and I fought the injury. So now I'm here to fight U.S. Bank for my home. Um, it's unjust foreclosure, uh, where they've done, they found a lot of fraud in my documents. And um, I was in modification process during the time that my house was sold on the courthouse steps. And in the case today, what, we, what I would like to see happen here in Minnesota as well as Atlanta and around the country is that let's not let the banks use law enforcement to do their dirty work. That's right. Unjust um, evictions, whereas it's like today I'm being evicted and an officer would have to come put me out, and then the next day I might have to go and put that officer out. It's not looking good. They have a job to do. They have to do what they're instructed to do. But the bank should be responsible for their own dirty work. Let them get their own eviction team set right. up yes. to do the evictions and not use law enforcement. That's right. You know, right. taxpayers have enough monies to pay out for services that the uh, for public service already than to let the banks take advantage of um, using the taxpayers' money to do their dirty work. So let them pay. So we're asking today that the city of Minneapolis stop using resources to prosecute peaceful protesters and stand with the people instead of the banks. Drop the charges now. Drop, Drop the, the charges, charges now. now. Drop, Drop the, the charges, charges now. now. Drop the charges now. We thought what we were doing was right. We were staying on our friend's property because it is their house. The bank wants to claim it as theirs, but it is rightly the Cruz family's home. And since then, they've tried to keep us from um, organizing around foreclosures and from participating in our community. And the way that they've tried to stop that is by charging me with a gross misdemeanor, Tom Huff, with a gross misdemeanor of riot. And I teach children. It's a violent gross misdemeanor. If this charge were to go through, I would no longer be able to teach children. 